गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन एन अदर ताओ ओवर फ्लोस वट इज रिपेंटेंस गिल्ट एंड सैडनेस विथ दीज यू विल फील डाउन अ फेलियर एंड नन ऑफ दीज रिपेंटेंस गिल्ट और सैडनेस विल हेल्प यू इन एनी वे टू ग्रो इन अवेयरनेस remember once a feeling of failure settles in you awareness will become even more difficult to attain change your whole focus it is great that you become aware that you have forgotten to be aware now don't forget for how long as long as possible do not forget as long as it is possible again you will forget again you remember but each time the gap of forgetfulness will become smaller and smaller you are supposed to remember something but you forgot again you do again you try this time again you forget but the gap will start narrowing rather than counting on how many times you forget to remember to be aware count those few beautiful moments when you were crystal clear and aware those few moments are enough to save you are enough to cure you are enough to heal you if you pay attention to those gaps they will go on growing will go on spreading in your consciousness slowly and slowly the whole darkness and of unawareness unconsciousness will disappear you should start very carefully and from the very beginning and move slowly and slowly just a little patience is needed and your goal is not far away start being aware with day to day routine actions and while you are doing your routine actions remain relaxed totally relaxed you are doing cleaning osho used to say that have you seen vivek doing the mopping and cleaning the lausay house how singing and dancing she is cleaning mopping the floor but you do it as a burden do it singing and dancing make the every act a meditation a conscious effort relaxed there is no need to be tensed when you are washing the floor what is the need to be tensed or when you are cooking the food what is the need to be tensed in that there is not a single thing in life which requires tension tension and stress is nothing but an expression of your unawareness and impatience as an interaction between your unawareness unconsciousness and your impatience tension grows i have not found anything and i have lived in all kinds of lives all kind of ways with all kind of people i have always been puzzled why are people tense it seems tension has nothing to do with anything outside instead it has to do something with your inner approach outside always you will find an excuse because it looks idiotic to be tensed without any reason you cannot say that i am tense because of my own ignorance no you will feel comfortable 
this will sound idiotic to you saying that I am tense because of me. Just to rationalize you find someone outside you to explain that you are tensed. Remember, tension and stress is not outside you. It is the wrong way, wrong style of your life. You are living in a state of competition and that creates that creates tension. Why do I have to compete with someone else? Someone asked me that you have a competitor. Another business opened. I said, no, I, he is not my competitor. Mm -hmm. He is not your competitor and he is selling the same thing. I said, yes, my competition is with me. How I service my customers yesterday and how I am going to perform today, that is my commitment. How, what did I do yesterday to attend to a customer? Am I doing anything better than that or not? Yesterday I cooked the dish. Today I have to prepare, see how I can improve. That was the beginning when I did that item for the first time. Now I have to do it again to see upon it an improvement. The first one I did it with the recipe in mind. And before that I listened to the cooking talk. And now I have to do it without. And it ha then and only then it will be settled in you. You are living in a continuous comparison and that creates tension. You are always thinking either of the past or of the future and missing the present moment, which is the only reality. And that creates stress. It is a question of simple understanding. There is no need of any competition with anyone, not even yourself in future, but in the beginning to switch over from outside competition, you can begin the competition with yourself, your last dish that you prepared. So whatever things you have missed, you can change it now. You are yourself and as you are, you are perfectly good. Accept yourself the way you are. This is the way existence wants you to be. Remember, some trees are taller while others are shorter, smaller. Certain trees are wider, certain trees are not. But the smaller trees are not tensed. Neither the taller trees are full of ego, but you are. Existence needs variety. Someone is stronger than the other. Somebody is more intelligent than you, but you also must be more talented than anybody else in something. You may be excellent in this. Somebody else is excellent. This particular tree is has excelled in growing taller. You have excelled in remaining shorter. Just find your own talent. Nature never sends any single individual without some unique characteristics, unique gift, unique qualities. You have to explore that. Just a little search. Perhaps you can play on the flute better than the president of a country can be a president. You are better flutist than he is a president. There is no question of any comparison with anyone. Comparison leads people astray. Competition keeps you continuously tense and stressed because their life is empty. They never live in the moment. All they do 
go on thinking of the past which is no more or project in the future which is not yet the whole existence drives people the whole thing drives people almost abnormal insane otherwise there is no need no animal goes mad no tree needs any psychoanalysis but man needs the whole existence is living in constant celebration except man he is sitting aloof tense worried concerned a small life and you are losing it every day death is coming closer and closer that creates even more tension death is coming closer and closer i have not yet started living more most people realize only when they die or they are about to die that they were alive and then it is too late just live the moment and whatsoever qualities and whatsoever talent whatsoever uniqueness you have use them to the fullest allow them to grow a rose plant is born with a certain quality when it will blossom it will blossom into a rose flower a red color a white color or yellow color it will not become a marigold but you are trying to be a marigold somebody else not what you whatsoever you are doing if there is contentment and there is a feeling that this whole existence is nothing but the manifestation of godliness that we are traveling on this holy earth that who's whomsoever you are meeting you are meeting god there will be there is no other way the there is only difference of faces but the inner reality is the same the flowering is the same whether it is a marigold whether it is chrysanthemum whether it is white rose or black rose or green rose or any other kind all your tensions will disappear the energy that is involved in tensions will start becoming your grace your beauty then life will be just an ordinary routine day to day existence but a dance from cradle cradle to grave existence will be immensely enriched by your grace by your relaxation by your silence by your awareness by your growth you will not leave the world without contributing something valuable to it but people are always looking at others at what others are doing and they in that process they forget what they are capable of doing and what they can do whatsoever you are doing do it with such love with such care with such grace that the smallest thing in the world becomes the piece of art it will bring great joy to you it will create a world without competition without comparison it will give dignity to people it will restore the pride which religions have destroyed never judge anyone existence never judges anyone so why should i judge anyone that should be your criteria remember any act done with totality becomes a prayer and that is what you are to do and nothing else